guys. I just made myself a little uh, Bustello instant packet of coffee with a little of the Rishi elixir mixed in. It's quite good. Um, right now, I'm currently in the process of decorating my apartment for Christmas. I don't know what has gotten into me, you guys. I'm totally going all out this year as far as my decorations and I'm having so much fun, but it is like chaos out there in my living room. But yeah, I have everything like spread out all over my living room right now. It's complete disaster in there. And uh, even though it's almost Christmas time, for whatever reason, here I go again talking about the weather, but it happens to be hot out today and really humid. I don't know if we're gonna get rain anytime soon, but it's kind of hot and humid and buggy. It does not feel like Christmas time or winter, which is what brings me to my next point. It is Fab Fit Fun time. I'm so excited, you guys. I've been looking forward to this box since the um, since the customization opened up a few weeks ago where you get to go in and pick and choose what you get. If you're not familiar with the Fab Fit Fun box, this is not sponsored. I buy this thing myself. I was influenced by Brittany Boren Leach to get on the Fab Fit Fun bandwagon. And I am elated that I have because it brings so much joy into my life. And it is a seasonal subscription box. You get a ton of fantastic full-size products. I mostly appreciate it for the lifestyle things. Yeah, it's really good. And I think it, it ends up valuing like well above 200 bucks. So it's totally worth it. And lately I have been using 99% of the things that come in the box. I've had a few boxes in the past where it's been more like 85% and I'll re-gift something. But lately, ever since I got on the customization bandwagon, I've really been much happier with the contents and find that I use everything. I'm even wearing my bobble bar earrings from the last box. Um, so yeah, I find that I get a lot of great stuff on there. That's for my little, my little, uh, I don't know why I held this up like this. Um, that's where my little French press came from, my Fab Fit Fun box. And it came just in the nick of time when I got it too, because I was like, hmm, I want to start making French press. Anyways, I'm rambling. I've been, you know, just kind of in my apartment for the past hour, untangling lights. So that's why I'm kind of excessively chatty. But anyways, I love the boxes as well. Just the like actual box. Ugh. I find they make really useful storage containers. They slide under my bed nicely and they're great for storing off season clothes. Uh, so long as you put some like little cedar blocks in there if you happen to have like sweaters and things. But yeah, I love these and uh, this particular box is very wintry and festive. And this particular box, it says some of the proceeds go to the women, women's Alzheimer's movement, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, they always have some sort of philanthropic theme to each box. And then you always get a little newsletter and you get emails too from FabFitFun. They send you recipes and stuff. It's really handy. They'll even send you little workouts. I'm telling you, it really enriches my life tremendously. Who is this gal? Sounds like the uh, the um, dumpsters outside are getting getting uh, cha getting changed, <laughs> getting empty. Ooh, purple yam uh, parentheses ube crinkle cookie crinkle cookies. I know a lot of you watch me from the Philippines. It's ube or ube or uba. <laughs> uh, maybe you could help me out phonetically. It's something I can Google later later on this evening. But we have a Filipino, gosh, I'm really going off on a quick tangent here. We have a Filipino grocery store. We have several of them here in Houston, but there's one very close to me. Um, and they often sell that there. So I might have to veganize this recipe. It calls for, oh, it pretty much is vegan. It calls for either unsalted butter or vegetable oil. It's uh, these crinkle cookies. So that'd be fun to make. Ooh, gingy cookies. I love holiday baking. Oh my gosh, oh goodness, you guys. Bear with me, I'm just in a really chatty mood and, you know, needing to chit chat. All right, getting into the box. All right, first things first, I got, got, got the little crinkly worms making mess. Graveyard Girl calls them worms. That's an appropriate name for, for them. You know, these little, 
little things. They snag on everything, but they're kind of cute. Um, first up, I got these slippers, which I really need. Um, they um, are cute. They're like, they're by the brand PJ's, PJ Salvage. That's a cute name for pajama and slipper brand, but they're kind of, they've got a nice cute gray knit. You guys know me and my grays. Gray knit <clears throat> fabric. with faux fur lining. How cute are those? So I, yeah, I chose this. I can't remember what the alternative, like kind of clothing item was, but this was right up my alley. Mmm, Rishi is hitting home today. <clears throat> you know what? Another side note, since I'm just rambling to death, when I moved into this apartment, the movers placed my bed in this location where you always see it behind me. And I really wish at the time I had known how I was gonna set up my camera in here because I would love to move it over just a little bit so that it's not in the background. I mean, I don't know, I guess it's not too bad, but it is so, it's very difficult to move this bed. So I just wish I could move it a few inches over. I may need to enlist the help of a neighbor friend or something for that. But yeah, I uh, so I end up like straddling the bed when I film. I have like one knee, it's, it's hard to explain, but it's just like really in an awkward position and I wish it were just scooted over ever so slightly. All right, I also got, you guys ask me about this thing all the time and I really never know how to respond to you when you ask me about it or, or, or want comments and feedback on it. It's this makeup eraser thing. I think this is just like a microfiber towel, right? That you can use to help remove makeup. Uh, it's cruelty free, but I mean, duh, right? It's a piece of fabric. Like I would hope they would not, you know, scrub a bunny with a microfiber cloth. But anyways, um, the makeup eraser. So I got one of those, the original, and you can even scan the, there's a little scan code on the back to see how it works. So I may need to do that. So I got one of those. And then I also got a Prime and Prep Detangler Prep Rally by Dry Bar. Yeah, I might actually end up sending this. I have a box that I'm putting together of skincare products that I'm gonna be sending to a women's shelter. You guys know I do that. So this will probably actually go in that, but it is a really nice product, Dry Bar. Um, I think it's like an expensive brand, but I don't use any any products on my hair. Protects up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Alrighty. Yeah, I don't like to use things like that. I mean, if you heat style your hair, they definitely are helpful. And if you style your hair or care about the way your hair looks, you probably do use those things. But since I'm okay looking like, you know, looking like a bird's nest all the time. Oh, a side note, I'm wearing, I'm wearing the scrunchie that came with my Costco socks the faux fur scrunchie. Good God, I'm really on a tangent. Anyways, yeah, I don't obviously care about what my hair looks like, unfortunately, for your eyes, but um, another reason I don't like using products like that is that I find they can um, cause me to have like irritation and um, rashes around the sides of my face. And they definitely can be a source of um, comedonal acne or uh, what's called pomade acne or acne cosmetica on the sides of the face and the forehead. So I don't like using stuff like that. And I'm too lazy too. Anyways, so I got that. But, oh, I also got this. This is a, a yoga calm and clean Epsom salt hand and body wash. I mostly got this as a hand wash. Um, and to keep in my, um, on my kitchen, I got a new soap dispenser for my kitchen, uh, Ross. It's one of the Ray Dunn, um, it's, it's by Ray Dunn, and it's really cute. I mean, it just says soap on it. Um, so you guys will see that if you haven't already in my holiday decorate with me. Uh, the word soap is in red, so it's kind of festive, but I can keep it out all year. And so this will be nice in, in my kitchen soap dispenser. Oh, I also got this. This is the Vera Mona, Vera Mona. <laughs> So I also got this, it's Vera Mona. It is their a color, swa color switch, instant brush cleaner. I really like that. Um, and I honestly, you know, I don't use makeup brushes or anything, but I was really intrigued by this nonetheless. And I do use a spatula to put on sunscreen sometimes. 
So I thought this would be handy, mostly for the purposes of filming videos. Sometimes I do end up with um, a lot of different sunscreens swatched all over the place. And if I'm using that particular tool, I thought this might be helpful, particularly with tinted sunscreens. So I got that, but for those of you who use, use a makeup, um, makeup, wear makeup and whatnot, uh, that can, I guess, be handy to, to remove, to remove color from your brush before you go on to another color. So that's cool, no liquid or cleaner needed. Speaking of cleaning products for makeup tools, you guys know I've talked about the Beauty Blender in other videos before, about how it's a useful, why am I doing this? Like, how it's a useful tool for daubing on tinted sunscreen over your makeup. Um, anyways, when I was in Sephora doing that Shop With Me Sephora video a while, a while ago, a few weeks ago, I saw they had a special cleanser to clean the brush with. Oh my god, that thing is laden with perfume. Do not use that. Um, you know, I, I would just wash it out with a little dilute uh, vinegar, white vinegar to disinfect it. Hopefully that wouldn't degrade the the blender material, but yeah, I would not use that. That is just basically perfume that you're then trapping those fragrance molecules in there and then daubing on your face that can really cause irritation which is a stupid product like on it i mean it's not stupid but like you know they 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 should just leave fragrance out of things like why would you need that to smell good like why why would you need that to smell like anything i don't know um anyways next up is the i mean maybe it works better aside from the fragrance i'm not sure oh okay i got this and i'm pretty stoked for it it's the perfect hair conditioner by R and G. I got the conditioner and the shampoo. I'm really loving, good gosh, I'm like super tangential today, but I'm really loving the Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner, you guys. It has just really been working well for my hair, the fragrance-free, dye-free one. I've really been loving it. It's really been working well for me, but I do love to try out different shampoos and conditioners, and I've heard of this R and Co. Um, <laughs> shampoo and conditioner and i know it's kind of on the pricier end and i thought that was great you get two you know the full size bottle of the shampoo and conditioner i hate it when like like they give away just a shampoo or just a conditioner it's like i don't want to have to get a separate product that smells different like what am i supposed to do with that so yeah this is in the scent television i look forward to trying that out within 12 months of opening says that on the back. <laughs> oh, now this, you guys are gonna be like, what is with you? You are such an Erin Condren fanatic. But you guys, I don't know, I've just kind of been in the mood to experiment with some different planners lately. You may have noticed when I went to Dirt Cheap, I snagged that um, Blue Sky Ringbound Planner, uh, Binder Planner for Dirt Cheap, like $3.50. And I don't know, I'm kind of interested in getting into maybe the A5 binder planner, just to try it out, you know? Um, but I do really love my Erin Condren, and it's working well for me, so I know it's like why I switch, but I don't know, I just kind of feel like trying some different things. I have a lot of areas in my life that need more organization and planning, so I could have multiple books going on, uh, like something to coordinate my YouTube, and then my you know work home life would be separate, maybe in the Erin Condren. Anyways. Uh, so yeah, uh, that being said, I got a planner from Paper Source. So let's open it up here. It um, is just a little uh, 2020. I can't believe it's almost 2020. That's scary. Time flies, you guys. Time flies. You remember when it, it was the millennium and like we were all freaking out when it was 19, like. 1999 we're like oh my god it's going to change over to 2000 and that just seems like so long ago <laughs> um anyways i mean i guess it was it was 20 years ago good lord um yeah <laughs> 2020 is coming but yeah i got this pretty planner from paper source this kind of reminds me of a uh, story time here like you know when you go when you when you read to children I mean, like i do this all the time but i remember being read to how you hold the book up so they can see the pictures i have a little thing here for personal information 
Then we have all of the months tab. Oh, the, see, this was one thing. You couldn't really see what the planner looked like inside, so I'm showing you guys that. But first, at the you have the month at, the gla month at a glance, and then you have the weeks. The weeks start on Sunday and go through Saturday. I think, and whereas Erin Condren starts on Monday and goes through Sunday. And you just have this line paper. So if you're someone who likes to break up your planning by time segment, this will work, would work for you. Then over here, you just have a notes section. So I kind of like that. Um, the paper quality is pretty nice. And so you get 2020, what's the back like? I'm not seeing any stickers, WT, question mark. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty simple. And you just get one notes page in the back. This is a kind of planner though that's gonna be, this is a good type of planner if you have some kind of a specific thing that you are planning throughout the whole year. Kind of like I was saying with YouTube, you know, to keep track of, just separate from your regular planner. So I'm glad I got this, cause that kind of is in keeping with what I had in mind with getting another planner. So yeah, I got that shampoo and conditioner. And then last in the box, wait, I gotta get another sip. There's always a, there's always a little um, bling bling. And last time it was these bobble bar earrings. And this time I got, I'll come up to the viewfinder so you can see, so you can see all the details of the jewelry. A door. I don't know why I'm talking like this, uh, but I am. So yeah, we get this pretty little necklace. It's uh, whatever that metal is. <laughs> with one little lone rhinestone over here in a background of, oh, that's cute, I like that. You guys know I love my jewelry. I love my bling bling, Ferraris and Jaguars. Anyways guys, that is everything that came in the winter box this year. I'm pretty stoked. Uh, how many years have I been getting this now? Almost two, wow. Um, yeah, check the link in my description box. Again, this is not sponsored. I just get this myself, but you can save, I can't remember how much it is off your first box if you are at all interested. I highly recommend it. I love it. And I, you know, I like that it comes seasonally. I couldn't handle this every month. Um, and it, it gets better and better each box. So yeah, it's really good. And you can even add stuff to it. Like you can go in, they'll have other items that you can pick and choose and add you can get add-ons so that's always nice i never do that though um but yeah that's everything and uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna go back to my christmas decorating it is chaos out there so thank you for the break <laughs> i really needed it but if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye